Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is June 20th and that means day 171 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode we printed out this very cool piano planter, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me here for day 171 of the 3DP 365 project. As always, down in the description there's a fact section. There's also the Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you're in the market for some new filament, a new printer, or printer parts, just use that affiliate link and you really help out the channel. On today's episode we printed out this very cool piano planter, and our print turned out okay. We did have a problem with the print, and I believe it might have something to do with the construction of the model, I'm not sure. Of course, this is some of that orange Matter Hackers Pro PLA, and I've had some issues with this particular color in the past. And I do, I am able to get out great prints. You've seen some of those in the past. We did the low poly giraffe and a few other things. And those turned out perfect. There were no problems and they were long prints. But this one had what I would call just an extruder fail. It just basically stopped extruding. And I don't know if you can see that, but you'll probably see it in the close-ups. It's a line right around the middle of the model, and it's basically no filament came out. I mean, a little bit of filament came out, but not enough to create perfect bonded layers. And it is right where the keyboard, the, the surface of the keyboard is, the flat part of the keyboard. So, I don't know, it could be, it could be the model. I did notice after it printed, and I should have checked this in Simplify 3D, that where the curvature of the piano box meets the keys, there's a huge gap there, and it's on both sides. So there is a problem with the model. And I did notice during printing that there is one area here that's super, super thin. And you can see that right there. Right where the curve meets the flat area on the curvature of the model, it is super thin. And the printer was actually printing it and coming back and then coming around. It was doing some strange moves to make this work. And if you hold it up to the light, you can see it's very, very thin. But the rest of the print actually looks pretty cool. And we downloaded this from my mini factory. And once we had it downloaded, we sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. In Simplify 3D, we used a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers and three bottom layers and three perimeters. We also used only 10% info on this model and we ran this out at 45 millimeters per second. And with all those settings, the print turned out pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with the way the keys look. They're nice and clean. There's a few little retraction spikes on there, but that's normal. And I did use lily pads all around the model to hold the model down because it was like a 12 hour print because we only printed it out at 45 millimeters per second. And there is a lot of detail on the model so it did need to capture all that detail. But when I was pulling off the lily pads this morning when I did it, I pulled off a big chunk of the bottom layer so it delaminated a little bit there too. So, Or it was just the force of me pulling it off because the lily pad actually fits into that little slot there. It's, it's pretty close to that size. So I'm thinking it was the lily pad that actually caused that problem. But the rest of the print looks pretty cool and I'm definitely going to uh, finish it up and fill it with some flex seal and use it as an actual planner because it does have three drain holes in the bottom. And it is a pretty cool print and I do love this Matter Hackers Pro PLA so I don't think it was the filament. I have a feeling it had a lot to do with the model itself. It's not a perfect model. But I'm still happy with the print. I'm definitely going to use it and I'm definitely going to put a really cool plant in here and put it on my desk. Well, that about wraps it up for day 171 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.